Hello friends, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss on fuel monitoring solutions that which all the fleet industries across the world needed that to manage their fuels. Today this topic is going to be discussed by Mr. Maniraj uh, who is the co-founder of Vamosis system and he is, has 60 years experience in the telematics industries and who looks in and out in the uh, GPS uh, tracking, vehicle tracking and fuel monitoring solutions from onboarding to customer support. So let's start the discussion of fuel monitoring solutions. Hello sir, yeah, welcome. Hi. Yes. So please tell me or briefly explain me about in simple terms about what is fuel monitoring solutions. Okay, see uh, when we entered into this uh, telematics industry, we started this uh, GPS vehicle tracking. Okay, so then when we closely, you know, I mean, uh, get in touch with all the fleet operators, we understand that okay, they have a very big concern that is managing their fuel. So then we slowly started uh, digging out what is the problem they face it, and that is where we get into a real problem what these people are facing. So any fuel operator, I mean any fleet operators you take it, almost 35% to 40% of the revenue goes towards fuel. Apart from that, almost 5% to 10% is the pilferages which has been happening, knowing it's been known to the fleet operators also. So when we've been asking this question, when you know something, why you're not able to arrest it, two things comes as a challenge. Point one, uh, they know the driver who took the vehicles, once he took the vehicle from the transporter, the driver will become the owner for the vehicle. So whatever he says, that's what the fleet operators has to answer. And uh, one step further, in case the fleet operator started questioning the driver, then next thing is driver will leave the job and already we've been uh, in crisis of driver shortage. So there is a, when we did some R&D, we get to know that for 10 vehicles, today we are hardly having 6 to 7 drivers only. So when the transporters already faces with the idle vehicle issues, so they get afraid to raise this question also. That's number one. And number two, lack of technology. So even today, in current scenario also, I have seen, I have heard a couple of operators, fleet owners, they say that they instruct the driver, whenever they fill the fuel in a petrol bunk, the manager calls the driver, he says put your mobile phone in a flight mode and you take the video of all the fuel fill, how much fuel has been filling, take, capture the video of both the petrol bunk and the vehicle and the driver has to send that video to the manager to claim his daily expenses. So this is one way they are adopting and other way is uh, the fleet owners, the operators know uh, which they, I mean all the drivers will have a specific spot. In those spots, this kind of uh, second job will be happening. So fleet owners, they send a spot behind the trucks just to check whether the driver has been uh, parked the vehicle in any unnecessary or in the identified place where they do all the pilferages. So this is how today it's been operated. So that prompted us to come with the solution. So what we are doing is in Vemos's fuel monitoring, we fix a capacitor fuel sensor inside the fuel tank and we connect a GPS device with the sensor. So by this, by sitting in one place, by sitting in office, the fleet owner can see what is the current fuel level in his vehicle, that's number one. And number two, in case any fuel fill happened, we give the data like you know what is the fuel fill, which location and which time. So everything we give immediately and in case if any pilferages happens, so we take those data and we send the data to the fleet owners also. So by this, he will have a complete clarity, he will have a complete hold on what is happening in this way. So what are the data captured uh, by this solution? In, the, in this fuel monitoring solution, what are the data, data can be captured? Yeah, so as I said, uh, GPS will be there that will completely monitor the vehicle when the ignition was on, when it was switched off, what distance is traveling, which location it is. Addition to that, we will say what is the current fuel level in the vehicle. If the tank capacity, let's say 400 liter, I will tell you current capacity 200, 210. So we give a complete data, online data, immediate data we give it. That's number one. And number two, in case if the driver fills the fuel in any petrol bunk, we give those data also. Okay, today in this location, in this time, uh, this particular vehicle has been filled with so and so liter. We give that data also. And point number three, if in case if any pilferages happens, we give with the date, time and location. Vehicle has been idle in this particular location and there is a drop of fuel from 
let's say 200 liter to 180 liter. So 20 liter is the differences happen in particular one particular location. This kind of alerts we have been processing and we give it to the fuel operators. Such alerts will be instant or delayed, time delay. Okay, uh, current fuel level and the fuel fill, those data we give it instantly. With respect to fuel loss, we will take little time and then we process it, we give it. Because we want to make sure we should not give any false report to the truck owners. So this fuel solution is a little tricky. That's the reason many uh, telematics companies, they've been assisting to enter into this industry. For instance, I'll tell you, now the vehicle has been stopped here, okay. Uh, a vehicle tank capacity, let's say 400 liter, current fuel level is 350 liter, we'll keep it. In case if the vehicle is uh, traveling any slope area, when the vehicle travel like this, there will be a natural dip in the fuel level. Okay. But it is not a bill for inches. So we identify whether the vehicle has been parked or the vehicle is in moving state. Okay, that is one scenario. Then we wait for it. Once it inclined or if the direction changes, then again the fuel will come back. The 350, whatever is shown, again come back to 360 or 370. So we wait for the time, then we identify whether it's a real theft or not, then we process it, we give it. So such, such is the accuracy of the technology. You don't capture immediately all the data. You process it and you understand it first, then you track, track We the immediately data. capture data, okay. but we try to authenticate, we double check the data, whatever data we got, what kind of scenario we got the data, we process everything we give it. I'll tell you one example. Let's say the vehicle has been parked in a hill area. Okay, the current capacity, let us in 500 liter is a total tank capacity. The fuel field is 400. As I said, I fix a capacitive sensor in the center of the fuel tank. So when the vehicle has been parked in a hill station, when in this direction, obviously there will be a, a dip in the fuel with respect to the data of what I get. So the vehicle is parked. Immediately I cannot assume that since I got 20-30 liter lesser, there is a pilferage. I cannot in, I cannot share this notification immediately to the truck only. Okay. So I will wait for the truck to move. Once the truck moves, I will get the data. So I will be waiting for the next data. So I will wait till the truck moves for another 5 to 10 kilometers. Then I will proceed what is the current data I am getting in. I will match it. Then if it is a real pilferage, then I give the notification. So uh, you were saying that it takes minimum 32 45 minutes to capture the theft. Okay. I can see. understand that way. Okay. I will put in this way. Today uh, around 10 am the vehicle has been parked in hill station. Okay. Uh, instead of 350 current fuel level, there is a dip because of the vehicle position and instead of 350, I am getting as a 330 liter. In case if the vehicle moves tomorrow, tomorrow the same time if the vehicle moves and again the fuel will comes to 350. Then I will see what is the difference, why I got the difference, what was the vehicle position yesterday, so when the ignition was on. So I take all those details, then I process it, I give it. So in that way you are saying after the real theft happened, you alert the alert. Yes, true. Now what is the accuracy level in this monitoring? Okay, we try to give 95 to 96 percentage accuracy level. And we have installed for more than 100 plus clients across India. And the feedback what we got from our client is, the ROI on the solution is very higher okay. than the basic uh, GPS tracking. Uh, I can put it this way. Whatever money they spent on this to get this technology, to get the solutions, the money what they spent, they can recover in between three to six months of time. So this is the feedback we got from our uh, clients directly. So what are the industries we are working currently in this field of uh, water solutions? See, no, no, nothing like a specific industry. Any person who has a commercial vehicle, they can go for this. Okay. But uh, what we do is, we need a vehicle which has a minimum fuel capacity of 15 liter and the tank height should be at least 15 centimeter. So that these are the two basic requirements what I need. Okay. So for to get homosis fuel system, this is the basic requirement you need? Yes. For instance, we get a few enquiries from the four-wheeler owners. So I have a car. So can you put the fuel monitoring? Uh, those kind of vehicles we cannot go for it. So we need a vehicle. The tank should be in any, I mean, shape. It should be a cylindrical shape or a, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I understand that the tank should be a much bigger volume to 
capture the data yes, fr yes. from us. So we work for a, a truck or a container like a big uh, vehicles. Yes. So this uh, sensor is not adaptable to the uh, smaller vehicles like four wheeler. Yes, very much. Yes. Okay. Uh, could you please explain the technology behind how the entire process works? Uh, say, for example, the sensor is installed. Yeah. The fleet owner will be sitting somewhere in, in his office or somewhere. So, how this somewhere vehicle is somewhere a day, it may be in Delhi, Gurgaon, anywhere, and, I, and my office may be in Hyderabad, Bangalore, yes. anywhere. And how this real time capturing of data and alerting system works? Yeah. The technology. Behind. See, what we do is we fix a capacitive sensor in the fuel tank. Okay. And in turn, we fix one GPS device in the vehicle also. So these two will get connected. And the device will have both GPS chip and the GSM chip, GPRS pieces. So via GPS, we get the location. And whatever location we get to the device, plus the whatever the fuel data we get to the device, both will be carried to my server directly by the GPRS chip, which has been inserted in the GPS device. So I get the data to my server. I get all those data, I process it instantly, I give it to my clients via my UI. So clients can uh, track the details either in mobile app or in web applications. So this is how we give the uh, data online. So by this, they either they sit in home, they sit in office, wherever they are and wherever the vehicle is doesn't mind. Just they have to open the app, they can see where the vehicle is going, what is the current fuel. If any pilferages happens, we give those notifications. And fuel fill reports we give monthly distance travel. Apart from that, we also give what is the mileage the vehicle had given them. Uh, just a clear question. Yes. What's the cutting edge technology Vamos gives, which no, none other can provide in this for fuel monitoring solutions? Okay. Uh, as I said, uh, fuel monitoring is a little tricky solution. Everyone they hesitate to give reason is uh, we do a lot of works on that. I just said in a very simple way, I fix a sensor in the fuel tank. But I have so many works to be done. I calibrate the tank. What we do is we first empty the tank. We put every 5 liter. We do the calibration. We take the volt from the fuel sensor. Then we process it. We have our own algorithm. We process everything. Then we keep the data. So every time whatever the fuel level I get via the sensor, I compare it. I see what is the volt I got it. So for this volt, what is the fuel liter available in the fuel tank? From my algorithm, I take it. I keep the data. So a lot of uh, intellectual things is happening here. Apart from that, the road condition is also plays a very tricky role. As I said, if it is in a flat road, fine, okay, no issues. Whatever the current fuel, I get the data directly, I can process, I can give. What if the vehicle is in hill station? What if the vehicle goes to a non-network area? So those time I will not get the data immediately. I have to wait till the vehicle enter into a network area. Then the GPRS, the JSM chip will give the send the data to me. I have to process it. Then I have to share the details. So a lot of things is involved in this. Okay. So how happy are your customers with this fuel solution? Okay. See, as I said, the ROI they've been taking between three to six months. So I'll tell you one simple instance. This has been shared by one of our client. Uh, his vehicle has been, uh, he almost he filled 5000 liter per month for his vehicle. So, 3 to 5 percentage pilferages has been happened in his vehicle. After installing the fuel solution from our company, that 5 percent has been reduced to 1 to 1.5 percentage. So, you know what is the uh, current price for a fuel for diesel, you can calculate on your own. So, in this case, he almost he took the ROA within one month. Okay, such as the advanced solutions Vamos has provided. Yes. Uh, and as you said, uh, this technology is not limited to mm -hmm. India alone. I assume that it's a global yes. uh, market. It has a global potential. Yes. So how uh, this can be fitted into the global market? Whether this is currently working within an Indian market or we, uh, this can be used for the global market too. Okay. See, we operate on a B2B dealer network. We have a strong dealers across India. Plus, we've been exporting our software to 15 plus countries today. So, we appoint dealer across every country and we teach them how to install, how to fix the sensor in the fuel tank, how to do the calibration and all those processes we've been educating them remotely and we make them to install the sensor in those vehicles and we train our dealers. So how to view the fuel report, how to view what is the fuel field report, how to explain to clients 
the benefits of the solutions, the kind of ROI, what the client will get. So we train our dealers across the country and we appoint them as our representative to promote our products. Uh, just a final question before wrapping up. Yes. What is the support system you are, what the support you are providing to your clients or a dealership or whatever, whosoever you work with? Say what will be the lifetime of the sensor and when, what time we need to monitor this hardware mm-hmm. to... Okay. With respect to fuel sensor, we give the 5 years warranty, that's number one. And number two, the GPS device, what we fix with the fuel sensor in the vehicle, we give with the one year or two years warranty, depend on the device model, we work on it. And uh, our software is a SaaS model, so we charge uh, once in a year. And number four, we insert uh, M2M SIM card in every devices. So M2M SIM card will attract uh, annual charges. So these are the prices with respect to the hardware and the software is concerned. And uh, with respect to the support point, so we have a separate ticketing system. We have a separate uh, department for uh, supporting our clients and the dealers. So and we work on a 24 person. Since we've been operating in many countries, we cannot restrict to a particular time. Let's say 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. IST, we cannot save it. So we work 24 person. And we have a tag for every kind of uh, issues they've been raised. So based on the tag, we work on it and we close the ticket and we give the support to both end clients and our retailers. Good to know so many things about the fuel monitoring solution. Just to summarize the things that we discussed in the last 15-20 minutes. Uh, the major problem faced by fleet industry and especially in fuel things is 30 to 35 to 45 percent of the spending is on the fuel but in that 15 5 to 10 percent is there there is a uh, bridge happening because of the drivers so uh, the fleet managers or fleet handlers couldn't uh, restrict still they are following uh, the mechanical thing like recording and uh, manually applying the things to capture the this uh, theft or pilferages of the fuel so for this, uh, Vemasus has come up with a uh, fuel monitoring solutions with advanced technology, sensor technology and GPS capturing. And with this thing, uh, the every data related to the fuel monitoring is captured from filling to the pilferage to the vehicle idling, speeding, everything is being captured and those data is uh, processed, analyzed and given to the uh, clients in a simplified mobile app and web applications to get the updates on the uh, everything related to the fuel that their vehicle is upon. So, and the technology is used is a uh, bit complex uh, to understand in layman, but they have been expertised in this, which in the providing in a simplified way and uh, in the real experience itself, the clients are saying that they are getting a, a return of investment in within the three to six months. Is, it's not a big deal for them to invest in this, so they are working on it. And this product is not only for the local Indian market, and it is being used for. Uh, in fact, it, uh, currently it is working in more than fifteen countries, and it is a global product. So very much thank you very much, Manisha. It was really pleasure talking to you and came to know about many things about the fuel monetization. Thank you.